Hi, I'm Caroline, and today I'm going to show you how to make the Love Arrow bracelet on two pegs. So this is what it looks like. It was an originally a hook-only design by Lumi Mama, and I have adapted it so that you can make it on your mini loom, your finger loom, your monster tail, uh, or your standard rainbow loom, or your two pencils. Um, anything with two pegs. So I'm gonna demonstrate it on the monster tail today. So here we go. So here we go, two pegs, any two pegs. We're gonna start off with our standard figure eight. Kaplunk. Then we're gonna put three more of these brown ones on top. This, this brown is the Tin Man brown. It might be a jelly or it might be a medieval collection. I don't remember. Or maybe it's a pearl. I don't remember. It's been too long since I ordered them. All right. Come on. Let's uh, focus here, camera. No? Not going to play nicely? All right. Oh, there we go. All right. So now we've got our cat band and three browns. And we're going to uh, loop our cat band. Okay, we've looped our cat band. And now we're going to put on our left hand side heart loops. So we're gonna start with our dual layer, hot pink and ocean blue pearl. We're going to put that on and then we're going to loop the bottom two bands. We're going to want to keep them in the same order, but that's kind of impossible on the first round. So we won't worry about it too much right now, but later it will be very important. All right, so we've got uh, our one Tin Man remaining on the left and our hot pink. And now we're going to put on our purple across. This is the glow in the dark purple. And I'm going to loop my remaining brown band. Okay, and now we're going to flip our heart loops from this peg back over to this peg. So I'm just going to lift them both up at the same time and flop them over, making sure to keep them in the correct order. So they should be hot pink, purple, purple, hot pink. And now I'm going to do that same sequence on the right. So I'm going to put on a dual layer pink and loop the bottom two bands on the right side only. I'm trying to keep them in the same order. Then I'm gonna put on my glow-in-the-dark purple and loop the remaining Tin Man over there. And then I'm gonna flop the top halves or the other halves of my heart from this peg over to this peg. So I'm just going to pick them all up. Oh, let's scoot these down first. I'm going to pick them up and flop them over, keeping them in the same order. Looks like my browns aren't wanting to cooperate right now. All right, so we should have them in the hot pink, purple, purple, hot pink order like that. So now we have no more browns on our pegs, just the hot pink and the purple. And look, these have decided to get out of order. So I'm gonna put them back in their proper order. And now we're going to start taking the heart off or maybe forming the heart. So we put on our another our first Tin Man for this sequence. And we're gonna form the top of the heart by taking the first two colored bands on the top and on the left and the right and flopping them up, looping them up. And we want to keep the hot pink in the middle and the purple on the outsides. And now I'm going to do another Tin Man. And this is the middle of our heart. And we're gonna loop just the brown, just the Tin Man. Okay, and now we're gonna make the point of our heart with our hot pink by putting on a Tin Man and looping the hot pink.
And then we're going to put on another Tin Man and form the point of our heart with our light purple. Okay, then that's your entire first sequence. Okay, so now we have three uh, Tin Man on each of our two pegs. And we have one heart done that you can kind of see starting to come through over there. So let's do this again. Uh, we're going to take our um, hot pink. We're going to make the heart loops for the left side. So we're going to put that across and loop the bottom two browns, keeping them in the same order. So the top one should go to the middle and the bottom one should go to the outside. And we're going to push down and put on our light purple and loop the remaining uh, Tin Man on that side. Then we're going to take the other halves of those loops which are going to be our heart loops for the left side and flop them back to the left side, um, being careful to keep them in the proper order. And these light purple bands make it challenging because they're looser. Whoops! They're looser than the pink bands, and so they want to just kind of flop around. So we should have hot pink on the top and bottom and purples in the middle on the left side. And now we're going to turn the right side into this as well. So we're going to put across our hot pink, loop our bottom two brown bands on the right. Then we're going to put on our purple, our light purple, and loop the remaining Tin Man on that side. Okay. And now we're going to put the top halves of those bands back over here where they belong. So I'm just going to grab them at once and flip them over. And again, we should have hot pink, purple, purple, hot pink. And again, I'm going to kind of pull that back to kind of tighten my tension in hopes that my light purples will behave a little bit better get them all in the correct order there. And now we're going to form our heart. So I'm going to take a Tin Man and put it across. And I'm going to take the top two colored bands from each side and this is going to form the top part of our heart. Kerplunk. Kerplunk. And we should have our hot pinks in the middle and our purples on the outsides. Then I'm going to put on another Tin Man. Oh, this guy's all twisted. Oh, come on, untwist for me, please. I think that's as untwisted as it's going to get. All right. And now we're going to loop just the Tin Man. And now we're going to put on another Tin Man. on. They don't want to behave for me today. Okay, so there it is. Tin Man, Tin Man. And now I'm going to uh, form the points of the heart first with the hot pink. So we're going to loop the hot pink. And then with the purple. So we're going to take another Tin Man. and uh, put it on there and loop the light purple. Okay, and there we have it. So that uh, finishes a second heart sequence. And let's go ahead and go through that another time or two. So first we need our hot pink. I'm gonna take it from the left to the right, but we're gonna just uh, these are going to be for the left side right now. So we're going to take the bottom two Tin Man on the left only and loop them up, keeping them in their proper order. So the one that was on the top should be on the inside and the one that was on the bottom should uh, be in the middle. And then 
we're going to take our light purple and put it across. And we're going to loop the remaining Tin Man on the left. Okay, so now we gotta get the rest of our left heart loops back onto the left peg. So we're gonna pick them up from the right peg and just flop them over, making sure to keep uh, the hot pinks on the bottom and top and the purples in the middle. And I'm gonna kind of push, push that brown kind of back into the center to even the tension up on those purple bands. And now we're gonna put on the heart loops for our right side. So we're gonna start with our hot pink and put it across. And then loop the bottom two Tin Man on the right side, keeping them in order. So the top most one should be in the middle and the bottom one should go on the outside. And then we're gonna put across our purple and loop the remaining uh, Tin Man on the right. And then we need to get our other halves of our heart loops from the left back onto the right. So we're gonna pick up those top two colored bands and flop them over, keeping the uh, purple in the middle and the hot pink on top. Come on, come off there. All right, so they're still in order. They're kind of floppy, so I'm gonna push the brown back to kind of tighten them up a little bit. Make sure they're all in the right order. It should be hot pink, purple, purple, hot pink on both of our pegs. And now we're gonna form our heart by taking off those pegs onto the brown. So we're gonna put a Tin Man across, brown, and we're gonna form the top of our heart by taking off the top two colored bands on each side. I'm gonna just take them off at once, making sure to keep the hot pink in the middle and the purple on the outside. Oops, I grabbed both purples. Only want one. Okay, there we go. Come on. There. So there, you can see I've got the hot pink in the middle and the purples on the outside, and I'm left with a Tin Man, a light purple, and a hot pink. So now I'm going to take another Tin Man and put it across, and this is gonna be the center of our heart, the brown center. So we're gonna take off just the brown here. Loop just the brown. And now we're going to form the bottom of our heart, the point, by putting across a Tin Man and then looping just our hot pink from the bottom. I'm going to push this mess back into the back here. Alright, and now I need to add one more Tin Man. and loop my light purple. Okay, so that's our third sequence. Why don't I do one more? So I'm gonna take my hot pink and put across, and this is gonna be our left-hand side loops. So put the uh, hot pink across and loop the bottom two brown on the left only. And then I'm gonna put across my purple and loop the remaining brown. Then I'm going to flop over my hot pink and my light purple from the other side, keeping them in the proper order. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to take my hot pink and put it across and loop the bottom two brown. Then I'm going to put my purple across and loop my remaining brown. I'm going to flop my pink and purple from the left side back onto the right side. Come on. Please. Okay, so I'm going to keep those in the proper order, which should be hot pink, purple, purple, hot pink. What's the problem over here, guys? It's misbehaving. It wants to go to bed without its supper. Okay. 
Let's try and even up that pressure by pushing back. Well, that's marginally better. So scooch these ones out so we can see the order. So pink, purple, purple, pink. Now we're going to take them off. I'm going to take a tin man and put it across and form the top of our heart by looping the top two bands on both sides. And I'm going to be careful to keep the hot pinks in the center and the purples to the outside. We put on another tin man and loop just the tin man to form the center of our heart. And then I'm going to put on another tin man and form the bottom point of the heart by moving up my hot pink. Put on a final tin man and do the second half of our point by moving up the purple. And now I'm just going to end this so that you can see how to end. I'm going to loop the bottom two brown on both sides. And then I'm going to flop the uh, brown from the right onto the left and secure it with a C-clip which I don't happen to have, so I'm just going to hold it in my fingers so that I can show you the pattern. So there it is. Arrow hearts on two pegs. Have fun looming. See you next time. Bye-bye.